Hi, I'm Russell Ruffin. I'm glad you're joining us today, which means you probably have an interest in using your smartphone for live broadcasts. I'm a career television news veteran reporter, and I consult with the nation's leading newsmakers on what else? News media relations. The first thing to remember about going live with your smartphone is your battery. Make sure you have enough battery power to complete your live broadcast. You know when you use your smartphone for a live broadcast, it's eating up your power supply at about four times the rate of a cell phone call of the same length. If you are in your car or in your office, keep your smartphone plugged into a charger so that your smartphone remains fully charged until you are ready to broadcast. If you take along an external power supply like this, when you plug your smartphone into it, you can recharge most phone batteries at least once, which effectively doubles your battery life. A phone case like this can not only protect your phone, but it can recharge your phone as well. You just slip your phone inside the case, and this will charge your phone twice while it protects it in case you drop your phone sometime. A larger device like this can give most phones four or more full charges. If you want to be inside your car or even driving your car during your broadcast, you will need to use a suction cup mount like this. This will mount your smartphone to the windshield of your car. Now, when you're shooting video of yourself, you could use a selfie stick, but it's much better to use a tripod. Your shot will look steady, and it won't look amateurish. Now, just about any tripod will do. Just remember to attach a flexible smartphone mount like this. It fits most phones. The rest of these devices cost about 10 bucks. Now, you'll want to use an external microphone like this to improve your broadcast quality. These lavalier mics are available online for about 10 bucks, and you can plug it right into your smartphone, and then you clip this right onto your lapel or shirt. You want this mic to be between six inches and a foot from your mouth. If you're standing outside and the wind is blowing, your audio will become distorted, even if you have a windsock like this. But there's a workaround I used in my career as a television news reporter, and here's what you do. You clip the mic, not on the outside of your clothing, but on the inside of your shirt or jacket, so that your clothing acts as a windsock. Now, if you don't believe this works, watch this video we shot during hurricane season. You hear all that wind noise? It is so strong, sometimes you won't even be able to tell what I'm saying. It's a really strong wind. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned from covering hurricanes along the Gulf Coast. That's this. Now, watch this. Very few people do this outside the news business, but watch this. I want to show you how to get rid of the audio wind noise. I'm going to pin the lavalier on my shirt, not on the outside, but on the inside. That's right. Now, watch this. There it is. It's on the inside. Now, that's inside next to the skin, and you know what's happening? My shirt is acting as a wind buffer. That's what we used to do when we'd be out there covering hurricane force winds uh, that are about to knock you over. Some smartphones today don't even have jacks to plug in your external lavalier mic into. But again, there are workarounds, and you have several options. If you are using an iPhone like this one, and it doesn't have an earphone jack, you can plug it right into this port here. This is your charge port. Since this is an iPhone, Apple calls its charging port a lightning port. So you will need to convert this lightning port here to a microphone port. Then that's easy. All you need is a lightning to microphone adapter like this. They're available online, and as I say, it's about $10. The same applies if you have an Android phone. This charge port is a USB-C port. It's different from an iPhone port, so you'll need something that converts this USB-C port to a microphone port, like this. One end goes into the charge port, and the other end is where you plug your microphone into. 
Another workaround is to buy a wireless Bluetooth microphone or an earphone set that comes with a microphone already attached. And this microphone actually records pretty good sound. But because this is Bluetooth, it's going to cost $20 or more, so let's get back to our $10 items. You want to have good lighting conditions when you're shooting yourself on camera. Sometimes you may have shadows on your face because of interior overhead lighting. But this little battery-operated Diva light, sometimes they're advertised as circle lights, they will help you get rid of shadows. And it has three levels of brightness. All you do is just clip it onto your smartphone so that your camera right here is not blocked. That's why the light is in a circle, so that the light forms a circle around your camera lens right here. This little jewel will light up you or your subject day or night. If you follow these simple tips, you can eliminate some of those distractions that often take away from the message you are trying to deliver. We have numerous other tips available on our website and on our videos, and we hope you'll enjoy them. Until next time, I'm Russell Ruffin.